Hi there, it's Jeff Caliguire, and I want to talk to you today about a question that really gets right to your core. Are you a perfectionist or your own worst critic? And I know and I've come to believe that sometimes when you do have perfectionistic tendencies and you want to get things right, the very shadow of your real strength is your real constraint. It's that you really want to get things right, but you can't deal with it not being right, especially right from the start. Uh, I love to write, and I love to write emails to my tribe. I love to blog. And a few months ago, I received an email from a friend saying they were unfollowing me because they found typos in my emails. Well, you know who really took that hard? Me. I mean, I, I struggled with it, and I thought, maybe I need to quit writing, or, you know, maybe I'll just never be able to write. And then I thought, you know what? I can get better. I can try to find my typos. I can help have somebody else read them or proof them, but I don't need to give up on writing. But trust me, that went through my mind. So do you have you heard that a lot of entrepreneurs who learn a lot their first time around, 78% uh, of them will not try being an entrepreneur ever again. It's like too much pain, been there, done that. I'm not doing it again. But yet, those who do it, the percentages doubles for success when you've done it once, and it triples when you do it a third time. So sometimes the best way to learn is to try, is to learn. So let me just share four thoughts for you who have perfectionistic tendencies who can be your own worst enemy. So number one, remember that you too live in an imperfect world. Yeah, I mean, we, we do struggle with that. We would like things to be just right and look just right, right from the start, and they don't. You know, we live in a world where there are hurricanes and tsunamis and people let us down. But we live in an imperfect world and we know that we too are imperfect. So that's number one. Number two is you do have what it takes to do what you were meant to do. Do you believe that? Now, I know you don't have everything, you don't have every gift, but you really do have gifts that if you develop and you really focus on those things, you can bring greatness to the world. You really do have what it takes to do what you are supposed to do. So find out what that is. Find out what you are supposed to do. Learn what those gifts are. Number three, appreciate what you have. Appreciate what you have. Um, and the idea there is take an inventory, you know, know what your gifts are, know what your strengths are. Uh, in fact, at the beginning of each year, my wife and I have started taking an inventory of what we really do have, because sometimes we can get so focused on what we don't that we forget that we've got great things to bring. Number four is, uh, what do I do with number four? Here, I'm a example. Be okay with constant improvement. I can probably erase this, but I'm going to be okay with constant improvement. Um, it's okay to create things and get it better. Have you ever heard, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing poorly, at least at first? True? Uh, or few things are created and perfected in the world at the same time. So you really do have what it takes, you know, so number one, remember that you live in an imperfect world. Two, you have what it takes to do what you do best. Three, appreciate what you do have. And number four, be okay with constant improvement. Jim Rohn said, if you are not willing to risk the unusual, you will settle for the ordinary. And my encouragement to you is don't settle for the ordinary. You've got something this world needs. Keep at it. Even if you're a perfectionist, Go out and start. God bless you.